what's going on man welcome back to another video today finally got another update from cuff boys on the little dirt situation we're going to tune in to see what's going on apparently there's some new charges and lyrics are being used against them aha all right so it's been probably about two and a half, three weeks since we got our last update on Lil Dirt. And I don't know, man. I don't know how it's looking. They added more charges. So I think these are all going to be Rico charges, low key. I don't know. I'm seeing it for the first time. So we're going to be getting the news together, man. If you haven't already, man, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button. And uh, let's, let's go ahead. Uh, uh, let me let me get at least let me get at least five likes on the video. I ain't trying to ask for that much. Five likes and make the boy happy, all right? All right, man. Let's go ahead and tune into it. Right, Will Dirk was hit go. with new charges in connection with the alleged murder for hire plot targeting Quando Rondo. He's now being charged with one count of conspiracy, one count of use of interstate facilities to commit murder for hire resulting in death, and one count of using, carrying, and discharging firearms and a machine gun and possession of such firearms in furtherance of a crime of violence resulting in death. Dirk was initially arrested by complaint, which means a grand jury has not considered the evidence and if there's probable cause or not, but now mm. the grand jury has and they are officially charging him and indicting him. And the one mm. statement that's public right now is prosecutors further allege that when the flights were booked, banks told the OTF associate don't book no flights under no names involved with me. So definitely a sketchy statement because it shows that he knows they were up to something. Mm. You know what I mean? And he's like trying to evade, but it's not much. It doesn't really prove much. They're definitely nah. going to need more than just that statement. On the same day, the group traveled to California. Prosecutor said Banks and Grant also traveled to LA in a private jet. I didn't know that he was even there. Did y'all? I must have missed that in the last indictment when I read it. After nah, it arriving, was, it was Grant allegedly there. bought ski masks and purchased a hotel room for other co-conspirators using a credit card in Banks' name. I didn't know this part. I must have missed that. Yeah, One of the guys did. that was on a private jet with Dirk with went Dirk. and bought Flew out masks, there from then Miami. bought a hotel room for people that killed Quando Rondo's cousin. Yep. There's, there's definitely a connection there with his credit card being used. I mean, how brain dead. Why wouldn't you get cash or something? It, all these rappers have fucking cash everywhere. What are we doing? I, mean, I know you can't get a hotel room without a card, but whatever. All six defendants, none of whom have entered a plea yet to the charges, are expected to be arraigned in the United States District Court in downtown LA in coming yeah, weeks. So I think they already so. got transferred to LA, like yesterday, literally, from Florida. Our US Attorney Martin Estrada said, Mr. Banks is charged with orchestrating a cold-blooded murder that resulted in the death. Not oh, only wow. that, the shooting occurred in the open at a gas station at a busy intersection, endangering many others in the area. Violent gun crime of this sort is devastating to our community, and we will have zero tolerance for those who perpetrate Boy, such crimes. LA ain't gonna play with them, boy. US attorneys don't play any games, man. The, the apprehension of Mr. Banks is the Ooh, attempt to leave the United States him. is once again proof that the FBI and our extraordinary partners at the Los Angeles Police Department have a long reach, said Akil Davis, assistant director in charge of FBI Los Angeles field office. Oh no God. excuse can justify the violent act, and let me be clear, while you're going about your life thinking you got away with it, the FBI is piecing together the facts that will serve as your undoing. Jesus Christ. Christ. The simple fact that this is a federal case just scares the shit out of me. If I was Dirk, dude, he's been arrested for state cases, but federal, man. People mm -hmm. that get charged with federal crimes usually don't come out anytime nope. soon. They take a plea and get like 20, 30, 40 years, or they plead Dirk's not guilty and get sentenced to life. It's very I want to see what the new charges are. Cases like this that span multiple states and jurisdictions are complicated and can oftentimes only be resolved through collaboration of multiple departments, said LA Police Chief Dominic Choi. This arrest is the culmination of the combined efforts of our partners in the U.S. Attorney's Office, the FBI, and LAPD's Operation West Burial Homicide Detectives, who discovered that Dirk, aka Lil Dirk, was involved in the heinous murder. The hundreds of hours spent on the investigation include surveillance, authoring numerous search warrants, using forensic technology, and tireless investigative travel, and collaboration alongside our federal partners led to the arrest. Bring in Megan Tunov. She is our legal affairs journalist. Megan, thank you so much for being with us here on Live Now. Go. Again, we just got this update today. Two new charges. In the this is a really good reporter right Two here, but charges. her glasses, bro, kill me every time, man. They're so funny. I mean, I know I'm a nerd too, but ah. they're crazy for some reason. This federal case, what are your thoughts initially as you saw that update come out? Uh, really nothing new in the indictment. This is just the feds getting ready for him to come back to Los Angeles and giving him co-defendants in the indictment. He was arrested on a complaint, so it would be totally standard for them to then go and seek a grand jury indictment. And actually, his co-defendants were arrested on a grand jury indictment a few weeks ago, but oh, the wow. indictment actually didn't name Little Dirk. He was arrested afterwards. Yeah, they were saying co-conspirator won the whole indictment. So they're just basically like combining them, right? I heard 
some DJ academics and he was talking about it and um and the way he the way he put it it made sense he put it like this Dirk fleeing trying to flee the country made them made the FBI the feds pick him up early if Dirk wouldn't have tried to flee like right after them boys got picked up in Chicago Dirk would have still been out they already they was already building the case on them but I think they needed to pick them up and try to get a plea out of them before they got Dirk and that's how the Rico tried I think they would have got the Rico on them but I think because he tried to flee I don't think they're gonna hit him with a Rico but this murder for hire yeah, I, th I honestly think that might be worse than Enrico, to be honest. I think he facing the death penalty, bro. You ain't getting no death penalty from Enrico. So not a federal Enrico, at least. Not that I know of. So, but yeah, yeah. The way Act put it, Derek would have been a free man until you know they was able to get that Rico pushed, and they would have had that hard evidence. But they would need to pick them up first before they pick Dirk up. Cause if they could have got a plea out of any one of them before they picked up Dirk, man, Dirk would have been hit, get hit with a Rico charge instead of a murder for hire. So, but man, let's go ahead and tune in and see what the rest of this video can hold up. That's what I would say, right? Basically combining the case. Okay, I swear I've not seen this. I swear I've not seen this. I literally just clicked it. That was weird. Right? The indictment a few weeks ago, but the indictment actually didn't name Little Dirk. He was arrested afterwards. Yeah, they were saying co-conspirator won the whole indictment. So they're just basically like combining them, right? Like that, that's what I would say, right? Basically mm -hmm. combining the case. Okay, I swear I've not seen this. I swear <laughs> I've not seen this. I literally just clicked it. That was weird, bro. And uh, tightening up the charges, tightening up the case as they prepare for the arraignment here. And again, this one is interesting because there are also six other defendants in this case as well. And on social media, the case and just the conversation about this stems back to November of 2020. This is when one of the other people on his record label, I should say rapper King Von, was killed. This is by after he got into a fight with Quando Rondo. So this this case says as it's coming out, we're learning more details, has been in the works for a long time because again, the original yeah. issue stemmed from four years ago now at this point. Yes, this was a long time coming and you can tell there was a, a really long investigation into this. And just based on the indictment, the surveillance images that the federal prosecutors have released, it sounds like they have built quite a case here and they're definitely they ready for it to be in court. I don't know about ready. They probably need a little bit more time, but I'd say they're probably 90, 95% done. They're probably wrapping it up now. I the think, they, I think they got enough, start for depending year, on what they got on dirt. If it goes to trial. So I do want to read off some additional charges that the, we do know that the FBI has now again, uh, charged Lil Dirk with. This is one count of conspiracy, go. one count of interstate facilities to commit murder for hire resulting in death, one count of using, carrying, and discharging firearms arms and a machine gun and possession of such firearms furtherance of a crime of violence resulting in death. So we should also note that in this case, it wasn't actually the, the rapper Rondo Rondo who was injured. It was a friend of his mm -hmm. who was shot and killed in this cousin this as well. So when you're talking about the implications of this and going forward with these charges, to like see where he's cousin. going to end up with the federal government in this case, obviously we do know Young Thug just beat some of his charges in his case, but that was a state case. This is a complete He didn't beat problem. them charges. Yeah, and, and Young Thug he accepted them charges. He guilty and no contest. There we go. On probation for 15 years. So yes, he I don't is. Think, and if he violates it, he's going to go to prison for 20. So I don't think we're we're gonna see a plea deal, probation plea deal, or and it wasn't a plea deal, it was oh, an no. open plea, but I don't think we're gonna see a plea like that in this mm -hmm. case. Talk now. Dude, any plea is gonna be 40 years or something insane. He might not. Trial, but Look, I'm experienced let me tell you my opinion. Because of, look, because the feds couldn't get that Rico on dirt, they're gonna try to slap him with the max. I think they're gonna slap him with the death penalty, low key. I don't think they, I don't think the feds gonna play with him. I think they want him to plead to life, but I think I think the feds gonna push for a conviction of death. You know what I'm saying? As as the penalty. So I think it is. I think Dirk's cooked. I think I think it's over for him because he got. Here's the thing: the feds was really trying to get the Rico charges. They wouldn't try. I don't think they was trying to really get get the. Uh, the murder for hire so the fact that you know he tried to flee so he already became a flight risk and they already consider him a danger to society man they ain't letting him plea out to no pro man look okay you can get we, we pushing for the death penalty 
you could plea out right now and get life without the possibility of parole. That's that's what Dirk's going. That's what's on the dirt on the table for Dirk right now. One of the prosecutors in particular, I've covered uh, trials that he's done, prison murder trials, other things like that. So he's very experienced in cases like this. So if they want to try to take this to trial, I'm sure the prosecutors would be happy to try it. Uh, if they want any kind of plea agreement just based on the charges, I think they're looking at a hefty amount of time in prison. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what kind of defense they get. We haven't seen a, a big de uh, offensive uh, defense from him yet, but that could be coming. And lastly, before I let you go, Megan, another interesting piece of this case, the federal government did say that Will Dirk tried to flee before were being arrested buying several plane tickets to international locations do you think that that will just play a that. role when it comes down to this case heading to trial potentially and what his sentence could be overall i think that will definitely matter if he tries to get any kind of bail situation the prosecutors are going to be pointing to bail. that outright whether that will matter if he is convicted at sentencing i no think bail. that the charges by themselves will stand alone but that he ain't getting no bail i can tell you that right <laughs> now ain't no way all right nope. so i got the file of the new indictment for dirk in right. 2010 he formed otf banks is the leader of otf defendants cave on london grant deandre wilson or DD, Asa, Houston, or Boogie. Hookspears 2 through 5 were members or associates of OTF. Geek Jones, oh. aka Flocka, and David Brian Lindsay, aka Brian so, okay. and members of other games. This is, this Following is new. Moves, Hold on. aka Flocka, then or Boogie. Hookspears 2 through 5 were members or associates of OTF. Geek Jones, aka Flocka, and David Brian Lindsay, aka Brown Eyes, are members of other gangs. Following the attempted murder of TB and the murder of SR, Defendant Banks sought to commercialize SR's death by rapping about his revenge on TB with music that especially referenced all from a news clip taken shortly after SR's murder where TV screamed no no after seeing SR's dead body oh no here we go with lyrics boys told me they got an Addy go go got location go go green light go 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 look on the news and see your son you screaming no no pussy so this is literally the scene right here wow. and this is Quando Rondo screaming no no and that's what he's allegedly referencing it's obviously a very tragic scene this is fuck this is so messy bro this is really bad the lyrics are pretty vague it all depends on what judge they get and i think the judge is gonna let this in they let this shit in in the ysl chart see it. why not his lawyer's gonna fight it you know how i feel about lyrics like i i feel like it's you know it's an art form it needs to be directly connected and the no no part might be enough for this a judge is. to let it in so that's the issue here that like him literally quoting no, no i think him video, saying he got the addy enough. go the lyrics they were letting in the ysl that's enough right were insane like actually insane. Some of them had not remember they said he's got snipers behind him. They tried to connect Thug to a car that was behind him that was pulled over and had weapons in it. Bullshit like that was so stupid. Wow. Another issue is these are rental cars directly mm -hmm. linked back to them and their own camera following and hunting down the Escalade awesome. that they were in. So looks like they're using lyrics, boys. That's all we learned today, pretty much. So mm -hmm. yeah, hit subscribe. I love you guys. Thanks for the support. Peace out. Hey man, hey, look. F boy man, thanks for the video. Thanks for the update. We definitely gonna be locked in <laughs> during this next trial, man. Cause at the end of the day, dog, like this is how you gotta look at it, dog. Dirt. I don't know what defense got planned or what they're gonna argue for dirt, but it got it got to be one hell of a defense if you take this to trial. Um. I, I don't see him taking it to trial um, because of they got OTF credit cards in the indictment. Last fours in the complaint that they arrested him on, they got they got credit card numbers that's linking him straight to oh, man. Look, I hate to say it, but it was a good run while it lasted. ego man i think i made my last video about this it dirk is in this situation because he allowed his ego to get in the way of what he had the future he could have had and i'm gonna leave it on that point blank period man if you like the video man don't forget to leave a thumbs up give me at least five likes man if you haven't already hit that subscribe button turn on the bell notification next, let you know next time i go live till the next one guys Peace.